Uh, my lovelies, before we get into today's tea, I have to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers. I got to 100 subscribers today and I appreciate every single one of you, so thank you very, very much. Okay, so today's video is on Thomas Halbert, who is catching some heat after an artist called Luca went to Twitter to say, It's really sad that I've had to resort to bringing this to Twitter. But I need to warn other artists and show that not paying us is not acceptable. Eleven months ago, Thomas Halbert commissioned me asking to sell it as merch and still hasn't paid me royalties. He commissioned me for two icons to Twitch slash Discord, and in March 2019, he asked to use them as merch. At this point, I had made some emotes for him, etc., so we had been working together for a while and everything seemed great so far. And this is an example of the merch that was sold. Luca continued, he has been late with some of his payments, sometimes taking over a week or two to pay fully for work I'd do for him. He also hadn't communicated about his merch sales. She also added, I want to be clear, Thomas commissioned me for several projects that he did pay for. Some of them were paid late and I included some of them in examples in the thread. This is all the work he paid for. The royalties were only thing I was waiting 11 months for. Thomas then went live to try to explain some of what was going on and this is what he had to say. Uh, doing the final math of how much I owe her, I owe her... No, I owe her more than $4 because it's just, I owe her $4 worth of hoodies sold and I owe her, I think, a dollar and 50 cents for mugs sold. I owe her $5 and 50 cents, less than $20. Um, now this live was confusing because at first Thomas did say that he owed her $20, but then in the live he said that it was only $5.50. Thomas then said he had only sold four of the hoodies and two mugs. Here. My Teespring, she sold four units of her design in the hoodies and then two mugs. So the We Enjoy Memes mug was two units, units sold, which made $11 profit. And then four of the hoodies, which was $40 in profit. And as far as I'm concerned, we had worked out, let me pull up the Discord messages. We had worked out like some sort of royalty situation. Thomas later clarified that they had worked out that Luca would receive 10% in royalties from what was sold. I think it would have been much easier if they had just paid a flat fee because Thomas did say that he hadn't ever done royalties before and found it confusing. He tweeted saying, I have apologised privately and publicly. All my artists are always paid, editors and freelancers. This is my first time doing royalties with anyone and was just an F up on my part. Learning experience though. He also said, for the sheer inconvenience, I am paying Luca $250 right now. I'm so sorry I disappointed people again. And he said, it does suck that it took this long to pay her the $20 in royalties, which was even lower at $5.50, which I know isn't a lot and shouldn't have taken me so long to pay. Literally me being lazy. Luca later tweeted with a screenshot of her PayPal showing that the $250 had been paid. So all in all, it ended well, but it should never have come to this in the first place. Thomas has said that he has been going through things in his personal life and that Luca had been very understanding towards that, which is really kind of her. And even at the beginning, he admitted he couldn't pay right away and she still worked with him. But this is literally just being an adult. You can't walk into a shop and just pick up something and walk back out. You have to pay for what you order and what you owe. Thomas has said that he is changing and trying to grow, so I get why people are disappointed with something as simple as this happening. $5.50 shouldn't have taken 11 months to pay. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below, and if you could like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to become part of the notification squad, that would be awesome. And thank you again for my new and old subscribers. See you next time!